Moving now to a developing story we've been following this weekend. Tonight, Kalamazoo police are still searching for a gunman who fired his rifle inside a grocery store trying to get to the owner. Investigators say that same suspect later shot at a police officer. News Channel 3's Chris Yu is joining us live now in studio to explain what leads police have so far, Chris. Yeah, Trisha, they have surveillance photos of the gunman pictured here holding that rifle in that grocery store on South Burdick Street. The investigators say they later found more evidence such as the mask that the suspect was wearing as well as additional footage of the suspect after taking off his outer clothing. While the gunman remains at large tonight, the store owner showed us video of the moment that shots were fired in his direction. A harrowing experience inside Tienda Guatemateca on South Burdick Street. The owner of the grocery store showed us this video of him serving a customer Saturday evening. That was when a masked gunman walked in, rifle in hand. The owner then went into his office and closed the door. The gunman briefly pointed his rifle at the customer as the customer was holding out his wallet. As the gunman returned his attention to the office door, the customer ran away. The gunman then fired several shots into the office door, damaging it, but he was not able to get into the office. So he walked out of the store empty-handed. You can see the damage on the office door, but the owner was not hurt. A neighbor's camera recorded what sounded like gunfire and the suspect's vehicle speeding away. Just minutes later, police say they found the gunman's vehicle in the area of Candlewick Apartments. The suspect then crashed and ran away on foot. Police say when an officer got close, the gunman opened fire on the officer's patrol car. As the officer gave chase, the suspect continued shooting at the officer. The officer was not hurt, but police say the gunman got away. KDPS is urging anyone who knows the gunman's whereabouts to contact police or silent observer. The grocery store owner says this was also, he was also the victim of a gunman last year. Live in the studio, Chris Yu, News Channel 3.